The Cedar Hills landfill near Maple Valley is one example of waste piling up in Washington. Though recycling plants run around the clock, lawmakers say the statewide waste recovery rate has declined over the past decade as more packaging is produced and costs to manage it increase. I have never known a life where, where I knew what plastic was and I didn't see it in my environment, in my streets or my sidewalks. Juanita High School senior Manya Gupta volunteers to clean parks and beaches and has grown up used to the sight of litter. But she's hopeful that could change for her younger family members. That's why she joined state lawmakers today as they pitched a proposal putting more responsibility on producers. They will agree on how to meet the goal that the state has set up through this bill. The Washington Recycling and Packaging, or RAP Act, would require certain businesses to form a cooperative to plan ways to reduce packaging waste and pay for some recycling costs. I'm also really excited about producers sharing some of that responsibility, and that shouldn't be on the residents since they don't have a lot of choice. It would also create a new beverage container recycling and reuse system. Lawmakers say some other states have passed similar laws, but there has been some pushback by critics who say costs of recycling outweigh the value of plastics and by producers who claim other products like electronics are a more pressing problem. And educating people on exactly what can go in these bins would also be a part of the act. As for how local companies would buy in, lawmakers today said that they have begun discussions with Amazon. They haven't quite endorsed the act yet, but they are hopeful. They said that they also had a meeting on the books with Starbucks today. Reporting in Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.